What's up, Fight Fans? Welcome to Mr. Mustache MMA News. Today, I want to discuss this Saturday's main event in the UFC, but before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly and to help the channel grow. All right, guys, getting right into it. We got Brennan Allen taking on Chris Curtis in a highly anticipated rematch on short notice. If you guys knew, Brennan Allen was supposed to be taking on Marvin Vittori, but Marvin had to pull out due to an injury. Chris Curtis is now stepping up on short notice to take on Brendan Allen, who we already defeated a few years back via knockout on short notice as well, too. In a fight that I don't necessarily love because as a fan of Chris Curtis, I know how dangerous Brendan Allen can be. And with him already finishing Brendan Allen once already, it's like, well, fuck, dude, like, how are you going to do it better a second time? Like It's, it's going to be hard for him to look better in this fight, right? But Chris, 36 years old, he's got the game plan to already beat him. His main training partner, best friend in life, Sean Strickland, has a knockout victory over Brendan Allen as well. He's got other training partners who have gone against Brendan Allen. So he's got a pretty good blueprint and history with him as it is. But... From that aspect, it's kind of like hard because it's like you know how good Brendan Allen has been since that fight. He hasn't lost since that fight. He's looked better and better and better. So I'm a little nervous for Chris in this fight. I know, Chris, you're probably going to see this video. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. I'm nervous for you a little bit in this fight. But like I know you can get it done again. I know your mindset too because you see the success that Brendan Allen has had recently. And you're like, well, I already fucking beat this guy. Like, Just let me step up on short notice. Let me do it again collect another paycheck we know you're in shape i'm not worried about you stepping in on short notice because like you are known as one of those guys who is like a year-round trainer you're always out there sparring and training and getting in the rounds you're always prepared for that moment but it's like it's just one of those things where it's like when you're a fan and you're like emotionally invested in some of these guys you get really nervous like i'm sweating just fucking talking about this fight but i think chris he's got to do the exact same thing like he did against uh Mark andre Barrio, the same thing that he did against Brennan Allen in that first fight. He just has to march forward. He has to be the aggressor in this fight. He's got to get Brennan Allen on that back foot, and I think that he can do it. I think that he can utilize that pressure. Brennan has felt the power before. I like Brennan's confidence. He seems to have been able to put that loss behind him, and he's just like his confidence is rising each and every single time. He's big for the weight class, love for the weight class, good grappling, but I think Chris has what it takes to get it done again. I don't know if he's going to finish him, I, I, I see a decision in this fight because Brennan's definitely going to look at what he did wrong in that first fight. He's going to try and do everything that he can and not make those mistakes again and get caught in a counter exchange in the pocket like that. But yeah, I got Chris in this fight. I mean, mainly because I'm biased, but also like, I, I mean, I mean, Chris beat him in the first fight, he finished him in the first fight. Even though he's 36, I think at 185, I think... 36, 37 is still like a prime year for those guys. And I think he brings a lot of athleticism and speed to that weight class. But yeah, I like Chris Curtis in this fight out of my biased opinion. But I, I'd i be lying if I said I wasn't nervous for him in this fight. Because Brendan Allen definitely has the ability to get it to the ground, get a submission victory, make it dirty, and get in Chris's face. But I think Chris has the ability to keep Brendan on the back foot. For most of this fight all right guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this middleweight matchup of this main event i love it i love this rematch kind of i love the fight i just i don't know it's hard when you watch a guy that you've already i've i, I just explained this now i'm just ranting let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this fight it's got me nervous as fuck hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already to continue getting more mma content by yours truly help the channel grow that's gonna do it for today guys Mr. Mustache, MMA News out. Let's fucking go fight fans.